Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. I'm sitting here with a present we just found on our fucking uh, porch addressed to the Mean Boys, which I always think is funny when we get shit j- uh, just addressed to the Mean Boys. Yeah. And I'm, I do I always feel like, oh yeah, that's right, we did call ourselves that's that. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, before we get into all the official business, let's just fucking crack this bad boy open and see what we got here. Uh, oh shit, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, it's cardboard. Oh, it's cardboard. Holy shit. Oh, my God. We got, like, a whole gift basket. We got a whole gift basket. This is amazing. All right, so... Oh, what? Whoa, someone drew a chicken wearing a tomato can as pants. (laughs) It says, define care. (laughs) We have a piece of cardboard from some kind of creepy children's toy. We got a shitload of crystal light. Thank you, dude. Oh, whoa. Nice. Fuck yeah, Dude. dude. All right, so we got a bunch of crystal light. We got some weird Asian candy. Oh, we got Asian cookies, dude. Dude, those are good. Dude, yeah, these look great. We got two fucking sausages. We got a turkey summer sausage <laughs> and a beef summer sausage. Oh, I got to yeah, figure dude. these are for me. <laughs> Give me that meat. Uh, we got a pack of Cheez-Its. It says it's water and power. <laughs> <laughs> cheez it, it's water and power. Holy fucking shit. Nice. That's so That funny. is awesome. Oh, All right. So there, we got those. <laughs> Uh, and we got a pack of gummy burgers, fucking Asian gummy burgers. <laughs> that are, That's like preemptively a riff on this episode. Oh, yeah, it kind of is, huh? Oh, and then we got a little uh, little oh, card for the Mean Boys. So it says, Dearest Mean Boys, I wanted to give back just a little bit in appreciation for all the hours I've spent listening to the show while at work. Tried to get something for each of you, but I wasn't really sure if I'd heard Tom express anything he was into <laughs> except whiskey. <laughs> so please enjoy the artist's conception of Tom as a methadone pigeon from episode 91. <laughs> The Carnock screenplay was magical. Please keep it up. Very much anticipating hearing more about the tour next year. Fuck everything. God is dead. Will. P.S. I promise next time I will. Dot Dale. D a i l the menace and uh, oh I dial the dial you spelled yeah. dial wrong yeah I'll, I'll, I'll dial up the menace and aggression up to at least a four <laughs> dude fucking the uh, the goddamn That's cheese that is water and power oh there's another gift that you got nice. Tom that I'll go bring in right now while you guys vamp uh, yeah well here we'll we'll handle intro business while you go grab the other yeah thank you everybody who's sending us shit this yeah, is so much fun it's very odd but like uh, in a good way yeah but uh, this week's episode a little different we were joined by uh, some family action yeah uh, Sophie Goss sister of the legendary Tom Goss and my in, brother Scottish Lock yeah. Uh, who are both awkwardly watching while we're recording this intro. Hi, guys. Yeah, they jumped in, and uh, we tell some fun family stories. This one's uh, pretty loose. There's also a Karnak appearance uh, coming up. Uh, please check out the tour sheet in the uh, the show notes. Let us know what cities you live near. Oh, what? This is Tom's other present. Tell them what they Hockey's sent you, Tom. royal family, the Patricks. Yeah, someone sent I've you never, a book. Yeah, no, this looks very interesting. So we sent you a library book again. <laughs> they did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Call forward. Yeah. Goddamn. Yeah, but uh, yeah, fill out oh, the tour wow. sheet. Thank you to everyone who's uh, helped us hit our one thousand dollars Patreon goal. Yeah, we did it. You guys are getting an extra episode a month now. Fuck yeah, two extra in January. Oh, it's got an inscription to someone else in the in the jacket, which is very <laughs> oh, funny. That's really funny. Uh, please continue. Merry Christmas, Dad. Love Cheryl, Bill, and Tyson. <laughs> Xmas nineteen eighty. Damn, that's an old-ass book. Yeah. Uh, please continue to review, rate, subscribe to the show on iTunes. Uh, sign up for the Patreon to get yourself some fun shit if you haven't already. Yeah, the uh, your way through Snark Week. Fucking wow, it's crazy. People are giving us presents. The cheese at its water and power. Yeah, <laughs> this, the is, uh, this is the best Christmas ever, you When guys. you finish those cheeses, we got to hang that box on the wall, because I fucking love that. thousand percent. Uh, yeah, what the fuck else? I don't know. Review the show on iTunes That's if you it, haven't. Got, there's not a lot of business. Yeah. This is the last Mean Boys of the year. We'll be back uh, in January. Back in January. Yeah. Fun one. Fun sleepy sign episode. Up, uh, sign up for Death Pool if you want. By yes. the way, if you signed up, you PayPal'd me, and I sent you the thing. Some of you guys made an account but didn't join the league, so make sure if you did all the first steps, join the league as well. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. It, it is. It's growing. Cool. All right, so enjoy this week's episode with uh, Selfie and Scottish. Thanks for the presents. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. War is over, so get a pretzel before the halftime show's done. I'm Connor McSpadden. I'm Tom Goss. I'm Keith Carey. I'm Sophie Goss. And I'm... By Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Oh, I, saw, I, I, I had one for him, I forgot. I was going to say that he looks like the owner of a brony food truck. <laughs> What do we serve at the Burning Food Truck? Uh, I don't know enough Horse about... Horseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to mi- mix it up. The least graceful thing you could have done. <laughs> yeah, that's Tom's uh, doing the mentally ill comedy circuit. Horseburger. 
<laughs> we got uh, we got the family in the studio today. Yeah. Sophie Goss, yeah. uh, uh, Keith's sister, and uh, nope. we, it's Scottish. Uh, <laughs> Locke is uh, Tom's cousin, I think. <laughs> And we're all fired up. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, we wanted to we wanted to bring the family in for the Christmas special, and they both look frightened that they've agreed. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, Sophie doesn't listen to the show. Do you listen to the show every week? Oh, awesome! Ooh. Yeah, when you walked away because they uh, Tom and Scottish met for the first time outside. When you walked away, Tom, Scottish goes, "It's so weird hearing that voice come out of a person." <laughs> 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 like you kind of thought you were just some weird robot we built. Out yeah, of, like, just old buckets. It's hilarious. The the it, I, I, it's been a while since I've gotten someone uh, telling me that they thought I. You I was just one of you two throwing their voice. <laughs> it's just been refreshing that people know I'm an actual person now, but I feel like there's still some time. I know. I spent a lot of money on this puppet, okay? <laughs> and I didn't take all those ventriloquism lessons to not fool people Even into I'm thinking not you were sure real. you exist all the time. Like, I kind of think this might That's be a exactly Tyler Durden where I want you. You're like the BB-8 of this podcast. I created you to sell merchandise. <laughs> That's all you <laughs> It's the droid from Star Wars. Oh, Patreon, oh. patreon.com slash me. I thought it was like a BB gun reference. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, Sophie I've met before. She hadn't met Connie yet, but I met her. At a, we went to a Mighty Ducks game with uh, Frank Anaheim, Clark. Anaheim. Ducks. Yeah. And oh, from, who, who could care? And uh, from, uh, from what Ducks I heard. Fans. All right. Well, I've alienated half of the table already. Wow. It, yeah. All the many Ducks fans that listen to the yeah, podcast. I'm a fucking Ducks fans and Mean Boys fans. Yeah. It's a, that's just two circles that are in different states. <laughs> but it was just me and Kyle trying to explain. Explain like the folk hero of Tom to you, and then you just being like, "Okay, that's my dipshit brother." <laughs> the level of disinterest was very amusing. I'm yeah. hoping that this experience will give you know shed some light as to what this folklore behind Tom is. <laughs> yeah, so what I is... still don't understand it. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you're pretty nonplussed by Tom. No, uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's a sibling. He's, you know, yeah, we live together. Yeah. I thought you said simpleton for a second. <laughs> I, I didn't because you're kind of quiet. And I was like, wow, that's my job. What are you yeah, doing? What coming, an NPR ass burn. Coming on my podcast, taking my burns. Uh, so you, you, you realize that Tom is a, a minor podcasting, not celebrity, but he's, he's, someone has a Tom Goss quote as his Twitter bio. Wow. You know, he's like, he, he, this, he means something to people. Is that, yeah. how do you feel about that? Is that cool? Is yeah, that, no, that's awesome. They're, they're also over, over, over. Uh, We're really not. <laughs> <laughs> you're way more liked than us. Yeah, Tom, you're kind of a. Uh, Are you the face of the merchandise, too? Some of it, yeah. yeah Tom is on, Tom's on my keys right now. I don't know if you've seen these. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Also mine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you all the the tweets who people have my face in their house. It's, 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 I, was Tom? Did Tom at any point ever speak English? Or yes. Okay. Wasn't I smarter when I was younger? I don't. You're you're smart now. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to be mean. <laughs> Oh, um, you don't have to be. You don't have to be mean. Like, I, I promise you, we're gonna cover the meanness quote. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Your whole attitude's pretty discouraging. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel like you're like, oh, this is what you guys do. <laughs> you guys make as much as a college dropout or a, a fucking high school dropout every year from this podcast Patreon. I am a high school. I'm a special ed dropout. Technically, <laughs> we did all drop out of various levels of education. We did, yeah. Nobody but yeah, twelve thousand dollars. She's college educated as fuck. Oh yeah. You're like smart and shit. Did you go to college? For a year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You I tried. Yeah. That's, that's called a carry master degree. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we get it. I got uh, six credits. That that, that makes me uh, uh, some kind of professor. <laughs> I do my time. <laughs> Does this... Okay, so you listen to the podcast. Is this exactly how you imagine the studio? Uh, less spiders. <laughs> less, is it, less spiders than you imagined? Yeah. Okay, well, there's that well, one. We, we <laughs> and there's some of the webs there. You can see all the, the remains of the spider housing there. I like the. T- well, we, we we had to clean up. We had someone who's done their book learning coming in, and we didn't want to look too uncivilized. <laughs> I like that Tom could just immediately spot spiders like Terminator, like, like RoboCop, like looking for a non-lethal shot. Like, that's how that's how I fell asleep in the basement. I played count the spiders. There's a well, yeah, the dude. Tom straight up lived in Hagrid's backyard for like a year, so yeah. I mean, he got pretty good at it. I've been sleeping down there, and man, those spiders keep on coming. <laughs> yeah. No, at a certain point, it's, it feels like Hydra. I found like, <laughs> three in my shoe this morning, and I was like, <laughs> you know what? I have other shoes. You guys can hang out. 
<laughs> oh, the shoe this bad? Well, yeah. I told, what if I told you about taking the bugs out of your shoes? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. He doesn't. Need, you got bugs in your shoes, Carrie. <laughs> Take well, we're, that. We're really reaching for insults <laughs> this late in the game. Abort the Mexican joke off. <laughs> So topical. All right, guys. Uh, I'll take us away this week. And holy shit, are mine bad? I really thought fucking Snark Week Itis had worn off. And then I sat down to do this, and I was like, there, I don't know. The world's ending. What do you want from me? There's still not a ton of new news stories. Yeah, uh, not there's really, a lot no. of like, check this cookie out for shopping or some Christmas <laughs> bullshit. I'm like, I don't fucking know. What you go shopping cookies. Yeah, Tom goes shopping for cookies. <laughs> He goes out with a, a minivan with his reusable bags to go Which shop funny, for I cookies. I can imagine him stealing like a plate of cookies off a windowsill like an old-timey hobo. Yeah, and I a, replace it with a pie. Like, ah. yeah. <laughs> Tom, They'll never exchange. figure me out. Yeah, doing an Indiana Jones switcheroo. Well, Tom, no cookie store is big enough to have aisles to shop in. It's all just like one little tienda of, you know, like what a pretzel. It's a cookie store. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, like, like you don't fucking know what a cookie <laughs> store is, Scott. <laughs> Mrs. Fields, you know, in the mall, or you know, there's fucking cookie stores. You mean All like right. a like a like a sweet stand or something? <laughs> what the what fuck? is a sweet stand? It, like a cookie store? <laughs> what are we doing? You it guys? can't be both a stand and a store. Sophie, think, how do you feel about being on a, a stationary road trip with your stupid brother? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're never there yet. <laughs> yeah, I'll take us away this week. Uh, documentary filmmaker Morgan Spurlock admitted to sexual misconduct. He is currently undergoing inpatient counseling, saying he needs someone to supervise me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, supersize me, but with his problems. Who, who's Martin Spurlock? <laughs> Uh, not the guy that Connor was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you say? It's just, who he's the guy Spockish? He's the guy who did Super yeah, Size Me. Spock. He, did, he, did, yeah, yeah. he does documentaries. Yeah, well, he did this thing where he like he basically posted this open letter where he like copped to a bunch of sexual assault stuff like that nobody had called him on yet. Uh-huh. And I think the stop process was like, I'm going to get in front of it and then I'll be a good guy. And then everyone was like, oh no, fuck you too. And he got fired so hard yeah. from everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, Scottish, maybe hold the mic in the center. I what? Think it's Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, see. oh, yeah, it is my phone. Yeah. Look how smart I am. <laughs> Check out the big Tom. brain on Tom. Tom. You're a smart motherfucker. All right. An Ohio man was arrested for trying to bribe a 15 year old boy into sex with Italian food. His favorite dish, chicken statutory. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. He was trying to he was trying to fuck a fake fifteen year old with Sprite and chicken Alfredo. Yeah, and, ooh, <laughs> fucking what? Who has that worked on? Yeah, like who like who wasn't gonna fuck? And then it's like, oh, but like Alfredo that has gone through transit. I'm yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Gross. laughs> That's such a that's 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 a, that's a step down from candy. It's like the least erotic food, maybe. It's it just like really a Tupperware is. full of chicken Alfredo. Yeah, I've like, never what, finished like, possibly like fucking time. Like that's always <laughs> it's a gross. Oh yeah, carbs and milk ready yeah. to party. Like whatever whatever's in oysters, the opposite of that is in pasta. Yeah, you know? it's like dehornification. <laughs> That's what they should give pedophiles. They should just make him eat a whole lasagna <laughs> so the every olive, day. The Olive Garden just becomes like a holding pen for kid fuckers. Yeah, we don't have to. Raku, chemi- no children for you. <laughs> <laughs> we just turn all pedophiles into Garfield, basically. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the Garfield process. It's like the Ludovosio technique from Clockwork Orange. That's why but... Garfield hates Mondays. That's when they fucking chemically castrated. <laughs> well, no, it's the first day of school of the week. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's when they. That's in school. So they waterboard him with fucking you know the. the spaghetti Getty, and then he's just like, oh, I'm too, I'm too, I feel too bloated to go hurt people. <laughs> I don't even want to touch myself after I eat like a heavy carby meal. Yeah, you know? it's just like, oh, the muscle expenditure. You ever eat a baked potato and then try to jerk off? What a nightmare. <laughs> oh, of course yeah. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah, that's, that's a family tradition. I mean, yeah, like, like, look who I'm asking, but yeah. I mean, you just feel like such a monster. You're asking three men shaped like various stages of baked potato. <laughs> Who's the cooked one? All right. You're like the one that like got cooked, then put in a microwave, and then somebody put half a steak in it. Like, yeah. All right. So the, the sour cream and chives. You have the floor. All right. This is not going to be good. It's hacky. A New Zealand man is accused of lacing his girlfriend's tea with abortion pills. His only other alternative was to wait nine months and then dump the baby in the harbor. What? What? Because tea. Empty in a harbor. Oh, oh okay. The baby. Oh, what a smart ass dead baby, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was British or something. New Zealand. New Zealand, close. Yeah, enough. they don't have tea in there. Yeah, room. that was very. You really reached there. Well, yeah, so I was just waiting for a Lord of the Rings British. thing. Oh no. no that's okay. Well, yeah, the the father Crispus Attucks is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of not making sense. <laughs> 
Uh, multiple sports teams have been having Star Wars Appreciation Night games. It's very similar to Military Appreciation Nights, but instead of amputees, the fans are emotionally crippled. <laughs> I like that. What is the stupidest thing you've seen Tom take a way too hard stance on? <laughs> because Tom, Tom shouted at us about this last Yeah, night. Tom got, has frothed himself into a rage over uh, being refused tapatio in favor of the homemade house salsa at a fancy Mexican restaurant, <laughs> a Star Wars probably. Appreciation Day, uh, so many things. Have you ever just... We had a couple conversations. <laughs> yeah, I am so bummed you asked this because I was <laughs> screaming about shit in the car. Oh, we need to know right now. Well, the most recent one was about how the way people dress, if they dress in a clean way, it's a reflection of them having deep issues. Right? Have you guys heard about this? No. What? No. So if you I dress- don't trust me. No. It's, it's a whole thing like, why are you hiding your demons? I want to know where your demons are. Can I ask you are. a question, Tom? Do you have this theory just because you don't know how to use the washer? No, I know how to use the washer. <laughs> yeah, you get locked out of your suitcase. You're like, anyone with fresh clothes is a pedophile anyway. <laughs> Fucking yuppies. <laughs> yeah, Tom currently looks like he's banned from many 7 <laughs> Like, this is the outfit that they have in the blurry photograph of the guy who that just says, do not let him in here. They under- love me at 7-Eleven, okay? <laughs> oh, you start these rumors about me, sir. Yeah, I'll eat the last hot dog. I'm a team player. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, three people were arrested after a video leaked of several cows being tortured and burned alive in Florida. The Mean Boys podcast is proud to be broadcasting with the last two surviving members of the Carey family. <laughs> I'm not a carry, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but just to clarify, everyone on my uh, dad's side, very fat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just truly a girthy, unpleasant stock. <laughs> my family, they're all nice people. But are you, God. Are you yeah, a no mom pedophiles brother though. or a dad brother? Mom brother. There's a mom, mom brother. brother. Yeah, my dad brother's all living in Seattle. This okay. Is, yeah. Yeah. And do, do you know the... the my mom, yeah. No, the... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I, I'll figure. It out, I'll, I'll figure it out. Later. I don't even know what you think you're at. <laughs> I'm not sure. Gotta you're, be honest. You, the, the Dad Brothers are my favorite garage rock band from Olympia. <laughs> All right. Thirteen severed human feet have washed ashore on a Canadian beach. When asked for comment, Canadian authorities said, "Actually, in Canada, we call them severed human kilometers." <laughs> I missed the setup. It would be meters because kilometers is a much larger unit. Shut up. Kilometers, you like, shut a, up. kilometers is like a mile, right? Yeah, it's like their mile. Yeah, it's like 9.5 hey, miles. Hey, did anybody not get it? A kilometer I, is I not 9. Point... Okay, I didn't mean the setup. I got well, distracted feet, by something. So a bunch of feet washed up. And a bunch of meters. Severed human kilometers. A bunch oh. of meters washed Let me just punch that joke up for you. It'll be much funnier. You want to try it again? Would it be meters? Sure. or would it let, be... let me try it again. 13 severed human feet have washed ashore on a Canadian beach. In related news, Connor McSpadden is a dumb faggot. There, better than I fixed it? I think it, I think it was definitely improved. No, Keith, <laughs> Keith, it's meters. I liked it better when I tuned out. <laughs> that was me. No, it's a fun joke. It'll it's teach me joke. to try. Yeah. No, it's a, yeah. I'm, I'm building up some bomb. Get down here with the rest of us. Yeah. All right, but you thought the first one made sense. Here we go. Uh, oh, no. I like him. A, a U.S. woman has been accused of using Bitcoin to launder money to the Islamic State. When she asked ISIS if they accept any other forms of payment, they said that they also accept pay. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, it worked. <laughs> okay, uh, so. <laughs> uh, Sean Spicer revealed he thought cr- the film Christmas Carol was a song book. Uh, he also thought that the film White Christmas was about genocide and Charlie Brown was about the Mexicans who fought with the Viet Cong. I fuck Oh, oh I get it. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. I like how they went Christmas theme, Christmas theme, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, it was bad. I agree. This corner of the table got very strangely like racist and confusing. Sorry. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, Last one for me. Uh, Archaeologists believe they found one of St. Nicholas's bones. Chief excavator Dice Clay said, We found it inside that broad from Santa, baby. Oh! (laughs) (laughs) There are a lot of songs about Santa fucking. Yeah. Yeah, That one, there's the some mommy jerking Santa Claus off or whatever. Yeah, uh, and I'll say this. Not enough. Yeah. Get writing. Get but, writing, uh, fucking isn't songwriters. Isn't Cold Outside, like, kind of a creepy song? Yeah, this has been... Yeah, it's like yeah. The, the world's oldest, like, 
take. That's like the first hot take. <laughs> was it? It okay. kind of was, yeah. Well, I'm glad I've caught up with society. Yeah. yeah. Tom has this like thing where he'll just figure shit out about eight years. <laughs> like he intakes information like an Eastern European country that's getting music we're, too late. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see a tweet uh, January third, twenty nineteen. Dude, Furbies suck. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I took I took Tom to. IKEA. Those are the things you can't feed after midnight, right? <laughs> Gremlins, close. Okay. I took Tom to IKEA for the first time, which was amazing because at one point we had to stop. And I was like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed. Give me a minute. <laughs> and it's we, the biggest Ikea, yeah. apparently, in America. But we're, it, we're, I have no idea if that's true. But it, which one is it? Uh, the, the one in Burbank. Oh, yeah, because you work at an Ikea. It's, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go ahead and Google largest Ikea in America. But we're walking through the parking lot, and he's like, yeah, I don't know. You think any comic has ever talked about how Ikea is weird? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? It is. It is the one in Burbank. Oh, is the largest oh. one in America. Did you actually know that, or did you? Just yes, okay. yes. <laughs> if I firmly state something, I definitely. What, what did Tom think last night? That oh, he thought it was called a hamburger because people thought it was ham. That one I was wrong about. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you were definitely. But you yelled wrong for a while about how right you were. No, okay, no, I yelled, It was one of those town things where you're like, yeah, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. I mean, fucking maybe. Okay, but wait, if I Google I it... I said, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with that. <laughs> and then and then afterwards, you were like, oh, yeah, I knew that fact about Germany. Well, yeah, no, like, you well, you did. You sure redeemed yourself when you took 45 minutes to open a candy cane. <laughs> that was weirdly wrapped, okay? No, it wasn't. It was wrapped in standard candy cane fashion. <laughs> Never, there's no unconventionally wrapped candy cane. It had shrink wrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where that came from. Apparently. Germany, Tom, with the hamburger. <laughs> That's where it fucking came from. All right, Scott. The hamburger has the floor. All right. <sighs> a Florida woman was charged with a DUI for riding a horse while blackout drunk. When reached for comment, the horse said, eh, she just needs that she needed a ride. I'm very chivalrous. What? <laughs> oh, the, the, I guess the horse is drunk here? Yeah. It's a chivalrous <laughs> horse. Well, because chivalry is actually, a, you know, is a word. It, Tom knows this from civilization. It, pre- it pertains to horseback riding. I got to say, I would never I would never ride a horse drunk, but I would ride a drunk horse. <laughs> that sounds like it would be pretty fun. Sophie just looks like I've been dealing with this for 15 years. <laughs> 15? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you older than Tom? How, Younger how old than Tom? do you think she is? Do you think I'm 15? I think you're like 19. Fuck. How old are you? 23. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm 24. Weird. I know. Weird. You're three days <laughs> older than No one doesn't know. <laughs> but you looked at me like, oh, is it, how old are you? And I was trying to be helpful. How old are you, Scottish? 21. Keith? Uh, 29. Okay, well, cool. We, we fig- figured that out. Yeah. And you're 24. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. guys. Everybody's a number. All about numbers. <laughs> All right, Tom, close it out strong. Hey, okay, Keith, th- what are you, the, the government over here? Huh? <laughs> right? New York. That's all we ought to them. This is a long one. Just fair. Oh, word. good. Okay. Uh, the I- other ones weren't long enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that's talking a lot of shit for somebody <laughs> that's, that's who, why I made it long who offered up two nonsensical statements. <laughs> and then a racist, racist PayPal way. joke. Yeah. <laughs> you go, who do you think you are, me? Like, you yeah. calm right down. Mr. Tom, get started. I'm going to go learn He's to make a souffle. <laughs> uh, Alex Jones is claiming that the reason Roy Moore lost the election was because dead people voted Democrat. This is obviously not true since the ghosts that were most passionate about him not winning were too young to vote anyway. Oh, because he killed oh. those kids he fucked. No, okay. Wait, what? Damn it. Is that? I thought. What's the joke here? That that the the. <laughs> <laughs> that the people most afraid of the man were fucking underage and couldn't. Inv- it was too complicated. But there are a lot. So wait, the, but he killed the dead. It's the dead kids he fucked are the ones who voted against him, right? Is that who you're saying? I don't think he killed those kids. No, yeah. he didn't kill the kids. Just the kids have the most interest in him not being fucking in the government. Oh, but the kids aren't old enough to be ghosts? This is not making it funnier, damn it. <laughs> I just don't get what you're going for. I'll send you a Hang on, same diagram. Meters. <laughs> same meters. Okay, same yeah, meters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Sophie, is this what you've been expecting? <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thrilling. Well, nice, guys. Uh, that was a Mexican joke off. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be right back with something else. Hey, everybody. We'll be back with more Mean Boys in just a second. Uh, you know, Christmas is right around the motherfucking corner. What? Yeah, it's it's coming. I forget. It's right over there. And your, uh, your friends and family, they want you to buy them something. That's yeah. how this works. That's how capitalism uses your God. Uh, and what better gift for them than studio headphones? I can't think of one. No, nah, there's not a better one. Studio headphones are made in Sweden, so you know they're slick and cool and kind of hot. 
Yeah, <laughs> and you know the they uh, they have good batteries. Yeah, they got good battery life, Bluetooth capability, uh, fancy spaghetti cord that we are enamored with that will not get tangled. Fucking incredible sound quality. A couple of you guys were tweeting and asking if it was really worth buying these things, if the quality was good. It's insane. It's very, very good. good yeah. Headphones. Yeah. They like will ruin every other headphone for you afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. But they're fucking great. And best of all, if you buy them and use promo code MEANBOYS15, you get 15% off. What? Yeah. That's fucking buck wild. No way. That's super awesome. So go to, what is the website? StudioSweden.com. Yeah. Go there and buy these things. And listen like, like a, a ninja. ninja. A Christmas ninja. And the Mean Boys podcast is back. <laughs> and after a, a, a terse discussion, we finally understood Tom's last joke off, and we can move on. By which I mean, we all pretended to get it, so he'd stop yelling. <laughs> no, you guys kept asking me questions, and then I'd yell. No one asked you anything. You guys are instigating. No, that's not true. <laughs> so if he backed me up, you asked me something. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I did ask you something. See? See? Yeah, it was, why, dear God, why <laughs> did you make me try from Mission Viejo to do this? I drove. I you drove. did drive, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, this is... Uh, I'm bummed you don't have, like, a sibling that we could be... Not as bummed as he is. is. <laughs> no, I got, like, a dead cat and a couple stuffed animals. I got nothing. The dead cat is actually in studio. He's not very talkative. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hobbs, shut up. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to tell some family stories, guys. Scottish, uh, what, what, was, uh, what was fucking... I guess I'll moderate this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has, has has Keith changed much as he gotten older? What was was he was he always just kind of a horny raccoon? <laughs> uh, his teeth look squishier now. <laughs> They are. They're like furry. Like, that's well, yeah, you are what you eat, so enough gummy products, and then your teeth just turn to hard gelatin. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. He's pretty much the same person. Yeah, we, uh, you and I were like super good because I have another yeah. brother too, and it's like he didn't like us very much. Oh no, still doesn't. He was the middle, but me and Scottish were like buddies growing yeah. up. Like, remember when we used to do the Exterminator game? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want to explain what that was? No, you go ahead. Okay. Well, yeah, it was basically we had a, a huge cockroach problem, and we had like a plastic like like Fisher Price like tool set or whatever that he had when he was little. So instead of like pretending we were building shit, we would just go around <laughs> murdering cockroaches in our house. <laughs> And then was it you or Topper who started the Cockroach Thunderdome? I believe that was Topper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We would just freeze the bug. We talked about this with, uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, what is it? We, we would just, like, we would freeze bugs, like, in the ice tray, like, Demolition Man style, to thaw them out later, and we'd make them fight for chips and stuff. Oh, really? Will they, like, actually survive being frozen? Oh, shit, no. Oh, no? <laughs> no. That was the idea. And then we realized there's more to cryogenic uh, <laughs> research than just putting a cockroach in a fucking freezer. Wait, how old were you when you thought that they would still live? It's not important. What is it? <laughs> yeah, no, it no, is. I, I think important. I was like thirteen. Okay, that's too old. Well, for I that. was doing. I was trying to bond with the the middle brother. My like, the cop put approaches. this on me. Yeah, I, I said the middle one. I tried to get you off. Why the don't hook. you just make them fight immediately? We would do that too. There were a lot of cockroaches together. Uh huh. It was and then, pretty... so like, but what was the logic of freezing them? <laughs> No, we just wanted to do weird shit with bugs. Science. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, Thank Sophie you. gets this it. This woman gets what, it. What? What? Okay. All right. Oh, here's a fun story uh, <laughs> that you reminded me of. Uh, the lightsaber story. Oh. So, okay. Scottish, when he was a little kid, was like... Yeah. Oh, please. The he lightsaber would... has to go in somebody's butt. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. going to a weirder place than that somehow. Oh, no. So, like, he was one of those kids who would always just do weird wiener stuff. Like, he would just, like, always be running around with his dick out. Just kind of flop. Like, he, I remember the funniest thing he would do is he Word that like, he didn't end up in comedy, and you did. Yeah, but... I know. I always... Think, he would just, like, creep up next to me, but he would just have his dick out, and he would, like... Move the pee hole so it was like his mouth was talking, and for some reason he would just uh. do Marlon Brando from The Godfather. He'd go, he'd go Manly Quithman. Like, that was that well, was the line that his well, dick said. Who doesn't time. love doing that? I mean, uh, yeah, it's a good it's a good time. Yeah, but he would just, basically, if there was ever like a lull or like a boring moment, he would do something weird, wiener based yeah. to get a laugh. And tell him what you did with the lightsaber. Okay, I don't know how I got to the moment, <laughs> but like for some reason. I felt the need to break the tip off of a plastic lightsaber, and then I like came over me to just piss in the lightsaber <laughs> tip, uh, and then I you know why not just drank it and then you close it <laughs> wait you drank piss yeah. out of a lightsaber yeah <laughs> I, nobody asked him to do yeah. it. Yeah. Did you thought you were going to win money or something? Oh, no. no, Did, no were you trying to home. move shit with your mind afterwards? Like, if this doesn't do it. Probably a subconscious. I'm thought. pretty sure this was a deleted scene of the prequels about how to get, you gotta, to get midichlorians, you just got to drink a lot of pee. I remember just me and my other brother just watching that happen. At, like, you ever, like, need to laugh so hard you can't laugh at all? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, your brain is like, what do we do? Like, yeah. I just broke. 
Did you guys fight a lot? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe not not us so much. Like, no, you and Topper would fight a ton, and you, I would just kind of like. Sit. I I wouldn't call it fighting so much as him beating the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, well, I told the GameCube story uh, during the Dwayne Peters episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, about you getting just straight up knocked out with a GameCube. Yeah. <laughs> and then my favorite is you guys would do like kar- like because Scottish and Topper both took karate for a little bit. <laughs> And, like, Scottish was very, he was, like, you know, a little white belt kid, but he just, like, would plant his feet and be like, yeah, yeah. Like, he knew his, like, little, like, three rhythms. So he'd be like, let's fight. And he would do that. And then my other brother would just kick him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, no effort. Didn't even have to jump. Would just, like, rock him in the jaw. And then, because you've always been huge, too. For the, yeah. anybody, who's not, anybody who's listening, Scottish is, like, eight feet tall and weighs 7,000 pounds. Uh, <laughs> and also is, like, just the, the least fighty person I've ever met. You're, yeah. just a, you're a big old sweetheart. I mean, it gets me out of a lot of conflicts. Yeah. Like, just show alone. You look like you give people cake at the office. <laughs> what? Something, something, like, you have a very, like, bakery vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like a friendly Dutch man Thank who you? just invented yeah. a new kind of strudel. Oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> like, oh, cool. Yeah, like, I, I know it's just because you can't reach your elbows to moisturize, but it looks like they're covered in flour and... <laughs> From a long day of making treats, he stopped having at uh, you know at, <laughs> at the cookie store. <laughs> How about Tom? What is the, what, what kind of shit did Tom get into when he was a kid? Like, what did, did you guys ever fight? She's been stressing. Yeah, out. I've been yeah. really stressing about all the questions you're going to ask me about Thomas. Because we had a pretty standard. St- no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I wasn't the weird one. I don't think. Were you the weird right, one? Right, so, like, I was the third choice out of everyone in the family <laughs> for a Thomas Tastic. <laughs> everyone was. Oh, the I thought first. you meant of, oh. like, of, like, <laughs> which <laughs> kid your parents liked. Like, no, no, no. Like... I was Thomas's third choice as to who was going to come here. Cause Honored. My, yeah. My sister, who was really the one that should be here, was the one that couldn't come, and then my dad couldn't come, so then he asked me. But I feel like Larissa would be the one. Larissa Lois- wouldn't remember shit either. Yeah. I just can't think of anything. It, Tom, you told her that you were, hey, Dad and Larissa can't do it. No, she overheard. <laughs> oh, no, I did tell you, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, oh, wow, I'd love to be your second choice. And you were like, no, I asked Dad, too. And <laughs> <laughs> There's that side. Do you remember when Larissa bit you in Vegas? Yeah, she, yeah. Yes. You remember the time where I thought she had, like, ripped out a chunk of your back? No. Is this the same as the biting in Vegas? Or is yes, this... yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> this... Larissa, one time, do you, I, I, I'm, curious, I'm asking because I'm wondering if you still have like a scar from it. I guess you wouldn't know because no. it's on your back. But my little sister went through a biting phase, and uh, sure. <laughs> and one time, I remember she like clamped onto Sophie's back so bad. I remember like my parents were trying to like pull her <laughs> off of Sophie's back, and then I remember. Them finally unclatching her jaw. Oh God! And then I remember seeing like the teeth marks in your back, and then just blood pouring out. Like it oh, wasn't God. there was no blood at first because she had such a hard grip on it. But yeah, that was a memory I had. And now, I was... every, and now every full moon, you turn into the better sister. <laughs> <laughs> I think Larissa in Vegas was prime time in her life. Cause oh, she was fucking nuts. Yeah, dude. Yeah. She uh, got drunk at like. She was, oh, I forgot about this. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She was like, you should probably tell her. <laughs> oh, we should we should tell it together. You know, Paul, How, I mean, she's probably four years old, right? She, at, at Wait, the <laughs> Wait. <laughs> at the oldest, yeah. She four. got drunk at four years old. Yes. In yeah, in my, Vegas. My Are you sure she was like, one of my mom's kids? <laughs> yeah, I think she was more like three or something. She was really young. Okay, more, more. But she time. could run around. On yeah, her and okay. our our mom was reading us a book, and what our mom wasn't noticing is that she'd take a sip of wine, and then Larissa <laughs> would just fucking. <laughs> down it and she got like three glasses of wine and she like couldn't Holy figure shit. out why it was going so quickly and it was because Larissa and I realized something was wrong when Larissa was like just like laughing and shitting herself licking olives off the floor <laughs> so, <laughs> and, <laughs> is what or like something went wrong Larissa's behaving weird it's pizza night everyone should be having a good time <laughs> I remember, like, we... Not on pizza night, guys. <laughs> this is a God's family tradition. It's a high holiday. 
There was me, you, and dad were on top, like on the second floor, looking yeah. down at my mom, like chasing my little sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I remember I laughed, and my dad was like, shut up. Like, you can't yeah. laugh right now. Like, this is really serious. Yeah, he was really, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys' dad is terrifying. <laughs> Again, he, he looks like he would try to kill the Terminator. Like, <laughs> His vibe, yeah. like like the guy that turns into the abomination in the Edward Norton uh, Hulk. <laughs> you know, he's just Con- like a scary bald man who Con- yells impossibly loud. Connor, <laughs> Connor met Dad when uh, Dad was mad at Shun for not picking up his room. Yeah, when Dad's mad, it's really scary. Yeah, and then um, uh, Shun said something like, "Why don't you vacuum or something?" <laughs> like, and then so Dad was annoyed, and Connor just immediately got in the car. Was like. Your dad is fucking terrified. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, but he's a really sweet guy. It's like yeah. we're talking about loose dust. I can only imagine when report cards come home. Yeah, no, that was that was her mom was more about grades yeah. and shit. She teaches or something, but yeah, no, she, it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's see what 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 else what else what, what other highlights? There were park days. I don't know if there's anything. Homeschooling. Yeah, we were like the pioneers of LARPing. Yeah, no, we we yeah we LARP before there was LARP. Yeah. <laughs> what were you guys oh, LARPing? Like, I feel like you guys just sword okay. fighted and wasted a, a good pack of spaghetti. You guys have you guys have a way more fun lightsaber story than we did. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> well, Shun knocked out Larissa's front tooth. That um, wasn't with a lightsaber. What was it with? It was a super soaker. <laughs> oh, is she going like with the butt? <laughs> no <laughs> melee attack. What kind of it? super fucking, he fucking threw what it. What kind of it. Israeli army training is that? <laughs> no, Shun also broke. When I was in ballet, ballet he broke um, like one of the you know. The moms you respected in the ballet studio. It was like the teacher's son, right? No, no, no it was a, it was a mom. And uh-huh. He grabbed, he grabbed whatever toy was in his hand. After she like leaned down, and was like, "You're so cute." She he grabbed the toy and shoved it into his, her nose and broke her nose. <laughs> Shocked it. Fuck. He he like there was blood everywhere. Yeah, yeah. No, but I thought he didn't just like he like. Sh- my, okay, so all of your siblings tell like they were raised by different wolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Larissa was up at the teeth and the Shun, weird feral Brady bunch. Shun, I thought he was gonna fucking be a baseball player because he had a fucking he would clock you out of nowhere. He had a killer fucking arm. He was just very violent. As a yeah, well, kid. so was Larissa. She's still pretty violent. <laughs> yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah. Wait, wait. What was her? What was? The yeah, last I can see why your parents got into Buddhism. <laughs> <laughs> it was like we have to do something about our feral children. Yeah, we subscribe to the religion of everybody. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you, like, 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 really. It's just, it's like Thomas and Sophie. Okay, and then Larissa and Shun. You sound like you should be from two separate families that yeah. mer- merged. It's, yeah, yeah. Because sure. Shun sounds like a kind of Chinese boat, and you know. <laughs> Larissa should not be a white Buddhist, you know. It's just very strange. Man. Yeah, Shun was named by a Buddhist president or something. Shun was named when the doctor sneezed and somebody got confused and wrote that down. <laughs> yeah, What's a Buddhist president. Uh, it's a president who's Buddhist. Oh, okay. That it's it like up. an organization, and like the leader of the organization is the one. Is it like their pope it. kind of thing? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so did you? Never did mind. You, Sorry. Neither he doesn't get a cool really hat. Ah. Yeah. Do you know? Do you? Uh, does your uh, uh, fuck? Did you also go to Japan? Um, recently. Okay, but not when Tom lived no, in Japan. No, I was by myself. No, that was a pretty sick. That was Thomas's own thing. Yeah. Why did? Why were you in Japan and no one else was? For Buddhist reasons, I don't know. It was. It was like I was learning Japanese. Yeah, the they wanted time. me to beat up Mothra. <laughs> my, my mom. My mom wanted me to go to a uh, university in Japan for college. She I'm, wanted all of us to go there. Yeah, she did. My mom's a little obsessed with the uh, the the uh, uh, Buddhist stuff, and so she wanted. Da, what's his name? Of oh, a chill fat guy. Uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, w- so, I want to say Brendan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the buddy Holly? No, that's not right. <laughs> uh, so, what's his deal? He loves flowers, but like a specific one. Uh, I think it's some kind of like swamp rose. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that guy. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> so yeah, she wanted me to get used to Japan and learn Japanese for when. Actually, it wasn't even just the college. She wanted me to go to the boarding school yeah, in the Japan, school, the yeah. high school okay. in Japan. Uh, which was affiliated. Yeah, we all went to Japanese Saturday Saturday school. I remember we that. We were homeschooled, but oh, we went fuck, to I remember Japanese that. Saturday yeah, that was school. the only official school we went to was Japanese Saturday school for the longest time. Which, again, sounds like a band. Uh, <laughs> so oh, was this... fuck, I hated it there. I forgot yeah, it really all weird. about that. What did they make you do in Japanese Saturday school? 
You learn Japanese. Okay. In like a very Japanese fashion. And it was yeah. like, oh, okay, oh. cool. Yeah. Weren't you ahead of me a grade somehow? No, I think we were the same level. Were we? I think so. Did Larissa go too? Yep. Yeah. I was guessing, I think so. I think so. It was the only school I ever went to where people didn't think I had weird food. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what would you what would you eat? Uh, I don't really know. Just grass. <laughs> <laughs> what were some... Well, yeah, I was trying not to throw up. What was babbles? Yeah, we had, we. Do got, you still like... speak any Japanese? No, I can pick up like a little bit, but no. Do you speak no. Japanese? No. All right. Well, no. this school did not pay off. <laughs> well, like I can get <laughs> one job. I could carry <laughs> conversations at like a low. Like I, I sounded like a fucking four year old, but I could carry conversations when I was in Japan. Okay. Uh, I did some like for uh, uh the anniversary when we dropped that bomb on them. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that one. Wait. Yeah. So, so when, when they sent you over the anniversary of that, <laughs> I was yeah. I was I was there uh, August sixth, and I was like the only American. But there were a lot of like Canadians and New Zealand, you know, white people had nothing to do with it, right? And they were all there, and I was there at the memorial and shit. And then my I gotta figure they just get mad at the fattest white person and assume they're American. <laughs> well, that's fat man and or little boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was I so I like helped my homestay father like to translate for uh, for the uh, not like English to people okay. on like what was going on and stuff and. Uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh... Uh, okay, uh, Big Boom. <laughs> yeah. uh, some kind of uh, vampire disease. Uh, <laughs> no more fights, but not great. Yeah, no fights, but no hair. Now, uh, statue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever go to other countries? Uh, I did. I, you, I, I've been I went to other countries. Uh, where have you gone? I've been to Europe as well. Spain, Spain France, and Italy. Oh, that's right. I forgot you did that. We went separately. Yeah. You know, we never even talked about that. We didn't like hang out for like a couple of years. No, yeah, I had to. What broke you apart? Side. What's up? What broke you guys apart? Uh, uh, we lost each other's phone numbers. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and I choke up with the mic a little bit. I have a weird sort of tumultuous relationship with my mom, so it's sort of like, all right, well, if I'm not talking to her, I usually don't see this one that much. Yeah, yeah. I kind of have to side with her sometimes. Ah, yeah. Nice. No, what you mean? Like, I know who's paying my phone bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know what story I was just thinking of from when we were kids? Do you remember the fucking the you throwing up at the soup plantation and the whole? Oh zombie, yeah, and the zombie hustle. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll I'll start you it. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Jump in. You whenever. guys' stories are way more interesting. <laughs> Jump in whatever you want to here. So, like, when I how old were you when that happened? Like, probably about. Seven or Wait, can I seven? ask when you drank your pee? How old were you then? Mm. That was before we started recording, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, like, I'm kidding. You. Yeah. Was like, <laughs> you were how, you were maybe like eight. Yeah, yeah, around eight. Okay. Yeah, you, that was red, like prime Wiener Boy yeah. era, <laughs> but like prime Wiener Boy might be an episode <laughs> title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, so no, so you were like seven years old, and we were going yeah. out to uh, to launch like a soup plantation with like these people from our church who were like. Kind of the classy family, and they were like very nice, and everyone like wore their best suit or whatever. And he got this really bad stomach virus and just projectile vomited <laughs> everywhere in this soup plantation. Yeah, like on the way out of the soup plantation as well. My mom's dragging me by the back of my shirt. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like leaving a snail trail. Of vomit. <laughs> it's just like a broken fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then it was, like, super sick. And right around this time, we were all, me, you, and the other one, were super into, like, zombie movies. Yeah. And me and Topper thought it would be so funny to convince you that you were turning into a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember for the first, like, two days, you didn't believe us. Yeah. Like, and, a, like a normal person. Yeah. But then around day three, you started buying it. Well, yeah. Maybe explain how you sold it. What? Uh, wait, which part? Where we said we were going to kill you with a baseball bat? No, where you were polishing a baseball <laughs> bat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just polishing a bat one day when he walks into the room. And he's like, are we going to go play baseball? I'm like, we're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when you like wrote the goodbye note, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, like, he, like, wrote, he wrote, wrote notes for everyone in the family saying goodbye and saying like, he was sorry he was going to die and turn into a zombie. <laughs> And then we finally told him, and then I think you kicked the me only the cure. You have to drink your own piss <laughs> again. It's the vaccine against the T virus. And then, yeah, like a week later, you kicked me in the nuts. Like you sucker attacked me so yeah. bad. Like I th- th- just wept in the middle of Lake Park. Yeah, yeah, that was great. That was fun. Um, I puked where Jesus was baptized. <laughs> That's fucking what? metal. What? Wow, Wait, that, that explains all our bad luck. 
That's where Tom was. Wait, can you explain this more? So we were going, Jesus was baptized in Jordan. Mm-hmm. That's where I studied abroad. Oh, you went there. I think I told you the story. Oh, you might have, yeah. Um, and so I was, I was really hungover, and we were going to Jesus' baptized place. And it's like a very <laughs> windy in the mountains road to get there and uh. I get car sick really easily. You see, was- when she can't explain things, it sounds better than when you can't explain <laughs> things. We're going to the windy, windy, dindy, uh, fucking Christland or whatever. A windy road. Yeah. It was a windy road. And, um, yeah, so I was really sick and then as soon as we stopped, I had to throw up. Like, I was waiting at the beginning of the bus and as soon as I got off the bus, it's where Jesus was baptized. So I just... Puked everywhere. Where Jesus <laughs> is this is my contribution. Nice. It's almost like you was baptized twice. Well, everyone on the bus was like, "Thank you so much for not puking on the bus." So <laughs> yeah, I fuck think Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying. Yeah. That God. Is there anything better than just an American just vomiting whiskey residue <laughs> into like a holy fucking site? If you go there, it's really not like it's pretty not dumpy it. looking. It's not like well, okay, we invite you into our <laughs> podcast studio. Hey, you insult our Lord and Savior's weird river party. It was, yeah, it's not even. It's like it, there's like four inches of water left in it. Like there's just like moss and oh, okay. it's, it's like there's the river next. Well, now to there's it. five inches of water. <laughs> <laughs> four inches of water and one inch of leftover fireball. Yeah, <laughs> tequila. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, well, all right, guys. That was a fun trip down memory lane. Uh, I think we'll uh, be right back after something. Ho, ho, ho. Keep up the pace, everybody. We've got a lot of presents to deliver to all the good little boys and girls. Hmm, weather's a little choppy. No matter. We have a job to do. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen, on... Oh no! We're going down! I'm alive! Oh dear, but the reindeer are dead! Where am I? I'm not familiar with this part of the world. Let's see. A lot of volcanoes... Bats the size of my sleigh flying around, and in the distance, is that a castle shaped like a skull? Maybe this is that Middle East I've heard so much about. Wherever I am, I've got a bad feeling about it. Oh, thank heaven! Hello, little boy! I seem to have had an accident. Can you help me? Holy shit, are you Santa Claus? Such language! You're liable to end up on the naughty list with a mouth like that. But yes, I am Saint Nicholas, and I need your help. (laughs) Oh man, he's gonna fuck you up so hard, dude. What? I don't understand. Nicholas, you corpulent sack of maggot fodder! You dare enter the realm of Karnak! Ho, ho, holy guacamole, it's Karnak the Blood Feaster! I warned you what would happen if you showed your face here again, you jiggling coward! Wait, hang on, Karnak, do you know Santa? Indeed! Claus and I were once both a part of the Council of Legends, a secret group of mystical beings that controlled the world beyond the eyes of men. All of the greatest myths of mankind united as one. We sat side by side along with Merlin, Father Time, Sasquatch, the Great Pumpkin, the Greater Pumpkin, the Female Orgasm, and that fucking pedophile, the Easter Bunny. We were brothers in arms, weren't we, Nicholas? Please, Karnak, try to understand. So, like, what did he do to piss you off? Did he, like, steal a magical amulet or, like, try to overthrow your kingdom or something? You fucked my wife, Santa! It was 300 years ago, Karnak. Let the past go, please. You are in no position to make demands, portly cripple. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to die. Not like this. Oh, death will come in time, but it shall not be swift. You have made a cuckold of the blood feaster, and now you shall pay the price. Your flesh shall be seared with strips of boiling steel until your carcass resembles one of your precious canes of candy. You will be waterboarded with orc piss. It shall fill your lungs, and not a creature will hear your screams, not even a mouse. Do you understand, fat man? I will deck your balls with blades of fury! Karnak, wait. That's right. Listen to your elf. Ew, what? Elves are super lame-ass. I'm the Prince of Doom, dude. I've told you a hundred times you're not the Prince of anything. This is not a monarchy. On what grounds do you interrupt me as I prepare to enact upon the saint my most nefarious devil shit? 
Look at all these presents. All the kids on Earth are going to be bummed as fuck if they wake up and they didn't get anything under the tree. Wait, wait. So you're a Satanist delinquent who also believes in the magic of Christmas. I don't know. I just like Christmas. Whatever. God. Dawson! You are as complex as you are irritating. Still, your sniveling pleas have caught the ear of the blood feaster in a generous mood. Perhaps I could use a sliver of dark magic to ensure these parcels reach their destination. Thank you, Cardnock. I knew under your dark and scary exterior there was a soft heart that knew the power of love and holiday cheer. Ah, uh, dude, don't ruin it with all that queer shit. You have misjudged me! My magic is powerful enough to complete your work without your assistance. Taste the blade of Tagaroth! <laughs> You fucking dick! Look in my eyes, Nicholas. When the night is over, I shall return to your palace upon the northern pole. I shall burn the villages of your elves. I shall infect your reindeer stables with plague and laugh as they die screaming. And then I will corner Mrs. Claus, and I shall ram my thorn and cock right up Santa Claus' leg! Tight. Quickly, Dawson, aboard the heretic sleigh! Wait, how are we going to fly? The reindeer all fucking exploded. Oh, you're right. I'm sure the magic demon doesn't have a way to raise the dead. You don't have to be a dick about it, dude. Yeah, well, you don't have to be stupid, but that doesn't stop you. Fallen vermin! The blood feaster summons you to return in his service. By the putrid swamps of Syphilopia, in the name of Karnak, I command you, right! Dude, fuck yeah. Let's Jack Skellington the shit out of this. What? What is that? Oh, uh, it's, oh, dude, it's this dope movie by Tim Burton, and it's all... No, about- pass! Let us take flight! You better not pout! You better not cry! Your tears are in vain, and you're all going to die! Carnot Claus is coming to town. He's got a kill list! He's checked it twice, slaughtering God and beheading your Christ! Carnot Claus is coming to town! And if he sees you sleeping, he'll scream till you're awake. Then make you watch while he fucks your dad with the sharp part of a rake. I'm bringing you death! I'm bringing you pain! A mountain of corpses to drive you insane! Carnot Claus is coming! To town! Merry Christmas to all! And to all a hot knife! (laughs) (laughs) And the Mean Boys Podcast returns. Uh, We close out, as always, with a round of our favorite game, which of the following... Uh, This week, uh, to keep it in the Christmas spirit, uh, we are playing a game, which of the following things were not done by a man wearing a Santa Claus outfit? Very fun. I have Googled strange crimes and general bad behavior (laughs) by men in Santa outfits. So the way this game works, uh, since you never listen, I'm going to give you four (laughs) things that somebody in a Santa outfit may have done. Three of them are real. One of them is fake. You have to figure out which one I made up. We'll do a few rounds of this. So round one. Which of the following was not done by somebody dressed like Santa Claus? A. Robbed a Kentucky Fried Chicken at knife point. (laughs) B. Accidentally kidnapped an eight-year-old girl on a motorcycle. Mm. C. Had a bare-knuckle brawl with five Chicago police officers. Or D. Got caught masturbating in a Bath and Body Works. C is something my dad has done. (laughs) Honestly, a lot of these. (laughs) Dad might have done. Dude, we need to lasagna castrate these Santa Clauses. (laughs) Accidentally kidnap yeah, someone yeah, on a that's motorcycle. Right. That's my question. Yeah, Did but you I just mean, fall on the motorcycle. I think like, I think oh. maybe she stows away in the sidecar. You know, trying to take a Snapchat. I do picture. think Santas usually have sidecars on their motorcycles. Well, yeah, you got to keep the gift somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to yeah. imagine without just riding solo. It just doesn't fit. Pretty easy. <laughs> it's very easy to do. It's I just right. imagined it for yeah. several. I held the picture in my mind. It's still there. Well, you have a great <laughs> imagination, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to say that one. I'm realistic. About things. Yeah, I'm seeing the motorcycle one. Okay. Fuck. Um. Oh, I hope I. I hope just you're not right. Well, I was going to pick the motorcycle one. <laughs> you still can. I, you still I can. can. What was a? A was uh, robbed a Kentucky Fried Chicken at knife point. I feel like that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, shit. This yeah, is... if you're going to rob a KFC, you can't afford a gun. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you're not passing a background check. I'm going to say masturbate in the Bath and Body Works. Okay. 
You don't get horny when that you was, That was one you, of them, right? You, yeah. You don't get a little, the little half chub when you smoke coriander? I mean, come on, everybody does. What the does. fuck is coriander? Yeah, it, just, it smells like a like a, a DTF, like 45-year-old woman in there. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yeah, somebody's mom is kind of horny. <laughs> what was uh, B? Not down with that smell. B was the motorcycle one. I'm going to go A because every KFC I've ever been into has bandit glass. I don't know how you rob a place with bandit glass with a knife. That's very true. Wait, what? Every KFC you've been to has bulletproof glass? Pretty much. You live in Long Beach. Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. They're not all like that. Yeah, not in it's the a whole <laughs> new world. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. I didn't even know you could open a KFC if it didn't used to be a bank first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figure you need the vault for the secret recipe and the bandit glass to keep the knives away. <laughs> Sophie, your thoughts? Um. I was gonna go with the death and body works. You can place bo- you too. can you can double. double up. Yeah, yeah, that was my original guess, but yeah. the correct answer D. Santa did not get caught masturbating in a bath and body works. Yes. God's Fuck. family on yes. the board. God damn. G unit. <laughs> Never <laughs> say that again. <laughs> You're fired. Leave the house. All right, round number two. Which of the following did a man in a Santa outfit not do? A. Handed customers and staff free marijuana at a Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> B, gave a profane speech on his last day of work, culminating in the phrase, quote, suck Santa's North Pole. C, roofied a dozen people at a German music festival. Or D, stole a helicopter in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Well, Three of these are real. Every, everybody gets roofied at a German music festival. <laughs> I, I, think that, I feel like Germans probably do a fucking a lot of that for some like reason. Like recreate just by themselves and at home? I think I think I'd roofie myself if my grandpa was a Nazi from time yeah. to time. <laughs> yes. It'd be nice to sleep. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> the forget shit post. What were the first first three? Uh, gave out uh, free marijuana at a Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, gave a speech on his last day of work that ended with "Suck Santa's North Pole" and then roofied a dozen people at a German music festival. Stole a helicopter in Brazil <laughs> is too funny, uh, but I feel like that's real. Yeah. So I'm going to say the first one. Okay. Buffalo Wild Wings. Stop. Uh, I, I'm going to say B because it suck my North Pole sounds like something you'd write into a sketch, but they all sound real. <laughs> I feel like Keith would have a layer of more fucking complexity. That's Not for right which the pole. following, though, because he's trying to keep it simple enough for us to have the you See, this is a game, not a sketch. Mm. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, after I corrected you. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said, so I think you're just wrong. Also, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Trick question, no way. <laughs> Scott, what do you think? Uh, oh, my, my, my mind is looking worse these days. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of spiders in my oh, subconscious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to go see. We're going to see with the roofies. Yeah. I also think it's North Pole as well, the North Pole... Okay, the Goss family sticking together but on these. I'm going to go with the, um, the Brazil. Okay. Well, you're a damn fool because the correct answer is suck Santa's North Pole. Hey! Oh. You yeah. left me, motherfucker. I was like, I, we, we need to split up. No, we were a family <laughs> and you ruined it. Yeah, that's that, that Santa stole the helicopter in Brazil and then met up with two other dudes also dressed like Santa. Well, and they did escaped. this happen at the time Did they of steal planes? Yeah, what? like. Did it happen at the time of Christmas? Or was uh, I don't totally remember. I think I, so. I've never been less surprised that Tom can like so get into the mind of a belligerent fat person <laughs> who works for two months out of the year at most. <laughs> this is exactly who you are. All right. Round number three. Which is the following? Blah, blah, blah. Santa. A. Told a little girl that number one name on the haunting... Uh, let me try that again. Told a little girl that the number one name on the naughty list was Hillary Clinton. <laughs> B. Robbed a bank in St. Nicholas, Florida. C, gave children a graphic explanation of what happened during the Sandy Hook shooting. <laughs> or D, was arrested for trying to burn down a synagogue. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Oh, man. Fuck. Rough. That last one is an early sketch from the podcast <laughs> that we did with the anti-Semitic Santa. Oh, I forgot about that. Hmm. Did you? <laughs> did you? This is tough. St. Nicholas, Florida. That's got to be real. It'd be yeah. weird if you... Did you guys live near St. Nicholas, Florida when you lived in Florida? I don't even remember. We lived in uh, we lived in Kissimmee. I don't know where St. Nicholas Close is. Close to like... You I lived on a Star there. Wars planet, Pretty Florida? Much. We might as well. Yeah, we lived in fucking Yoda's house. Like, <laughs> okay, fucking... <laughs> but yeah. instead of like those weird bat things, it was just like angry Puerto Ricans. Like yeah. That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> and alligators. Yeah. And instead of an X-Wing being in the swamp, it was uh, our car uh, <laughs> got taken by the bank. <laughs> Wait, and, are uh, you also part Samoan? No, that's my dad's side. Okay. No, uh, yeah. No, so not. you're part boulder? 
<laughs> your dad is a continent. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle's like the moon or something. <laughs> I'm an enigma, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna say the last one. Uh, I, I forgot. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> I, forgot I retained nothing. <laughs> uh, a was told a little girl that Hillary Clinton was on the naughty list. B was robbed a bank in St. Nicholas, Florida. Do you guys want to bet that when Tom was fluent in Japanese, that they were just <laughs> nodding at him in fear? <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like a broken the robot. Uh, C was uh, gave children a graphic explanation of what happened during the Sandy Hook shooting. D was uh, got arrested trying to burn down a synagogue. Mm, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go D, even though that seems like uh, it seems like some more on Christmas shit they'd pull off. <laughs> But I know a couple of these are real, so it's between D and a different one. So, okay, yeah. Uh, I gotta go see, yeah, the Sandy Hook one. Yeah, that seems too outside of it's Santa's jurisdiction. Fucking uh, Sandy Hook. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho hide. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, was D that he actually did it or tried? He to? got arrested for trying. To okay. Yeah. Let's see, you don't see the correct answer. D was arrested for trying to burn down a synagogue. Oh, it's not that hard to burn I'm down perfect. a synagogue, yeah. guys. Yeah. Perfect so far. Perfect so far. Perfect I, so I far. hate when you dance, and I also hate that you turn it into a fun Christmas song. Yeah. All right, here's my favorite part of this whole game. Round number four, which of the following? You're going you're gonna to break another fucking chair. And I, we broke, have some... I didn't break any chair. Hang on. My phone. I'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> You realizing like, how few like joint movements you're capable of? I don't want to like you not... poorly constructed Chinatown action figure. <laughs> yes, yes. Round number four. Which of the following did Santa not do? All murder edition. Oh yeah. A drunkenly hit a homeless man with his car, then hid the body in his garage. Real. B shot eight people at a holiday party and burned the house down. C beat a seventy four year old woman to death with a two by four. Or D stabbed a priest in the head at a Christmas parade. Mm. C. <laughs> Although the head, a very hard place to stab. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really yeah. want it. There, you, there are sockets of soft. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've done research. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know the entry points. It's like the death star. You just gotta be careful. I used to practice on rats. Anyway, I'm gonna say whatever B was and be right. Uh... Yeah, well, like the head. Well, you th- the face. You could stab someone in the face, of course, but the head. <laughs> yeesh. I mean, it's doable, but that's the a face lot of... is on the head. I think of the face as a. I think I think, I, yeah, I think of the head as everything. Your head is this. It's still. A th- th- I think your head starts right around here and ends at like the forehead. You that's know, that's inaccurate, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm not debating fucking head geography yeah. with you. A drunkenly hit a home, drunkenly hit a homeless man with his car, then hid the body in his garage. <laughs> B, shot eight people at a holiday party and burned the house down. Mm-hmm. C, beat a 74-year-old woman to death with a two-by-four. Or D, stabbed a priest in the head at a Christmas parade. I'm saying C. Okay. Fuck. I, I'm, I, I don't want to lose my perfect game. And a lot of pressure. Yeah, and I'm really not sure on this one. God, I knew I should have looked up more Santa murders. Uh, <laughs> we'll throw over here what you think about it. Sophie, what are you thinking? I'm thinking... D, but I also really don't know. This okay. Is, this is a hard one. Yeah. I'm between A and B. Okay. I think you're like a double D, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's so wonderful having somebody fatter than me in the studio. You, do you hear how half heartedly I, I was just like, okay, I well, have to do it. He said two of the boob letters, so I got it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta fucking uh, spice this up a little bit. <laughs> got those some on it. The boob letters. Uh, I'm gonna go B. <laughs> you going with B? The yeah. shot yeah, yeah, what's, the, what's that? What's that feminist play? The boob letters. <laughs> can, I, can I hear A one last time? <laughs> Drunkenly hit a homeless man with his car, then hid the body in his garage. I am going to go. What did you guys pick? B. You pick, you pick D. I pick C. I'm going to go C. C. The correct answer. A, he did not drunkenly hit a homeless man with his car and hide the oh, body in the garage. blew the perfect game. He did. You whiffed it, my dude. Uh, still beating the shit did out of you, Did anyone get that? Did you get that? No yeah. one got it. No one got it. Yeah. Damn. Well done, Keith. And finally, round God five. Damn it. That right. means he stabbed someone in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, just through the top and then just ran. 
Well, what did he, he stab it was him at a with? Parade, a too. knife. Yeah, it was in the middle of a parade. Like what, broad mean, what did he stab him with? It could have been an ice pick or something. It wasn't. It was a knife. <laughs> ice picks are much better for stabbing people in the head. You speak from experience? No. I just <laughs> the shape, and then the, the you can get a lot more torque on it, so it's more power. It does make sense. Like I feel like that it's is how. Um, All right, yeah, it makes sense. Know. I don't like it, but uh, how did I? Died. Yeah, we heard we heard about someone dying this way. This Frida Kahlo's lover. Yeah, uh, some French guy, and then he was he was, he was he was part of the communist. Got it. Uh, yeah, Leon something. Trotsky. Yeah, a, yes. a French yeah. communist with the ice pick. I don't think he was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's All a right. weird game of Clue we're playing here. Do you think? Do you think they were just trying to separate his unibrow with the knife? And then <laughs> it slipped a little bit. And finally, round number five: Are these all real or all fake? A. Urinated off a ledge and into a stroller. B. Stole a city bus in Detroit, saying he was quote going to Vegas. C. Was arrested for selling a bootleg copy of Star Wars: The Force Awakens to an undercover cop. <laughs> or D. Got in a knife fight with a man dressed as Jesus. Ooh, I'm gonna say all uh, fake. Um, I'm gonna ah shit. Um, you're saying all fake. I'll go all real. Okay. Fake. Fake. Uh, <laughs> fake. Fake. <laughs> fake. <laughs> Fucking fake. Uh, all real. Two reals and two fakes. The correct answer. Those are all fake. Fuck. Man. Yeah. Boom. Made them all. You're like no, you're running force. out of Santa stories by the end. So like, yeah. The more likely it's gonna be fake. That's exactly right. Oh man, you and your brain shit really yeah. panned out. <laughs> yeah, somebody's you never been ice picked. You got more than all of us. I know, but I was going off intuition and Keith's <laughs> twitches, so that I don't know. <laughs> you can't, I'm not, it's not a poker game. You can't read the. Well, Twitch. no, Tom insists that everyone has a tell and that he can find it. Yeah, everyone does, but it's not always. Well, and, and he's like, "You have a tell. I'm not telling you what it is." And I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> you have a what? A tell, a tell, like a poker tell, uh, like when you can tell uh, they're lying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that was uh, which of the following Santa the fucking death party. Yeah, and uh, I, I was right uh, the first, and then on the 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 one I got wrong, Keith changed up his tell, or he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> no, I no, I did nothing differently. You, 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 no, you did. But yeah, you don't Tom, it. I'm, I don't uh, forgive me for not buying that you're a master of observational analysis when I'm you fucking good at you failed to open a candy cane that you did not <laughs> know how you came into possessing. A candy cane cannot lie. That's very different. <laughs> Well, yeah, you just you had, you, can- Santa Cochran, you had a candy cane. You had a candy cane in your pocket <laughs> that you didn't know where it came. The from. candy cane yes. can't lie. The elf did not. Die. And that's why I don't think you're the fucking monk of uh, interrogating people. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, maybe I'm the house then. No, you fucking. What does wonk. monk have to do? With this? No, he's the house. You're like a condo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was a Scottish joke. We'll be right back after this. Well, guys, Burrito Santa's getting here in about 18 minutes, so we have to do this quick. The yeah. show is brought to you by Don Carlos Taco Shop in La Jolla, California. Yeah. The purveyors of the finest Mexican food that you can currently purchase with money that it's not based in... Oh, hang on. Somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door. Let me get, let me get it. Hello. I am Burrito Krampus. <laughs> uh, what's up? What's up? That's it. I'm not going to do a whole thing about it. I just thought it'd be funny. Nice. Uh, go to eataburrito.com. <laughs> For more information, uh, it's located conveniently near the La Jolla Comedy Store. So go get yourself some laughs, get yourself some fucking food, uh, <laughs> and just go there because they sponsor us and it's really good. Yeah. And burrito like a ninja. Guang! I'm named after Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. Uh, Topper's named after the drummer from The Clash. He's named after a dude named Scott we knew. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> was your Scott uncle, right? or Scottish? No, he, he was my dad's, like, he was in my dad's gang. And oh, is that what that was? Yeah, he was in my dad's gang. His nickname in the gang was Scottish because he was uh, Scottish. Oh. And he was assassinated. Holy for shit. For going on Whoa. television. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> First of all, yeah. Well, <laughs> Me Boys is back. We're keeping what we were just talking about yeah. when we throw back because this is an insane thing I didn't know. So do you know the story of what I kind of sort of spilled a lot of that dude's ashes in my room? Uh, No. What? <laughs> Why did you have his ashes? <laughs> That's a great question. Somehow they ended up in my room when we lived in Florida, and I low-key was like looking for something up in the top of the closet and just knocked it over and just like it hit the ground and just went <laughs> <laughs> I, I dust busted it and I got most of it back in there, but like there's definitely a little bit of them that I just kind of breathed. Like wow. <laughs> Yeah. So there's like that's why you have a racist yeah, ghost I, inside yeah. of you. I just found out that that man whose uh, whose ashes I breathed was an assassinated gang member. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that he was named after. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 
Ironically enough, that gang, which uh, we'll go ahead and not say on air, yeah, please uh, don't, is uh, part of Mean Boys mythology. I'll explain to you later. Oh okay. oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, and then like you guys, you and your brothers are all named after different heroin addicts. Well, that's what we were talking about. That's yeah, how yeah. This whole thing started. Was it because they were heroin addicts? <laughs> yeah, we're just fans of the art. No, <laughs> it just happened to work out that way. My my parents were drug people, but it was like just the people we idolized end up being. Yeah, three different dads though. So like, I'm also named after a serial killer. Are you? Yeah, my middle name. Wait. That your middle name is Henry because of Henry Lee Lucas? Yes. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're, how are you not a nightmare? Yeah. How are Why you are you most... so smiley? I thought you were a baker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what's like his baker. secret ingredient, guys? Yeah, my name... Joy. Yeah, my name's Hitler Dahmer Kill You Guy, <laughs> and I'm the friendliest man in the world. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I just drink my piss. It fills me with joy. All right. On that note, the Me Boys mailbag. Uh, we got a voicemail just now. Oh, did oh, we? No. Yeah. Oh, let's hit it. Hey, guys. Uh, that dude on Twitter. I've been following the show since the Garrett episode. I appreciate you guys a lot. What, dude? Uh, question for Keith's sister. Can we get an extended version of what happened with the snake that went missing story? Uh, Long sister. No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we got a few people asking about the snake debacle. I, I, didn't, oh, wait, we got, I wasn't we got, even living. It's yeah. got, there's a little was, bit more to it. Oh, okay. Story. Uh, also, for you guys, uh, goals for 2018, I guess, would be a applicable thing for this week. Uh, love the show. I might be your most normal fan. I'm actually kind of willing to bet on that, so uh, don't disappoint me. Okay, well, that, that means that he's only not allowed in a couple 7-Elevens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, what happened? Yeah, because your sister's snake went missing. You, your snake or Larissa's no, snake? No, this is the wrong. I wasn't even living at home, so I'm not the person to ask. Yeah, she just she was working in a national park. She just moved back in around the... Uh, uh, BLM. A what? It was, never mind. What's a BLM? Bureau Land Management. It's different than national parks. Oh. I kind of thought you said boobulum. And I was like, I don't know what that is. It sounds like an element. That Sorry, just has, it was just, it's just a like different... Like a glowing rock yeah. with a nipple. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that story was pretty much... Yeah, Sophie wasn't loving Larry yet. Uh, I just moved back in, and Larissa was just like, Hey, have you seen... Oh, God, what's, what's his name? Glenn. Have you seen Glenn... <laughs> And I was like, who the fuck who is the fuck Glenn? Who the fuck names a snake Glenn? What a lame thing. We also yeah. named our guinea pig Gandalf and our bird Loki. Like, Glenn is a very different... And I was like, what the fuck is Glenn? And she goes, my python. I go, no, you need to find that before Dad finds out, because he's going to freak the fuck out if he finds out you lost your python. Fair. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, how did you lose it? And she was like, I don't know, he escaped. And she for sure just got high while cuddling. She like puts the snake in her bed while doing her homework and shit. She does. She brings it to yoga in the park. Are you serious? Yeah, that's some fucking does the psycho snake shit. Do yoga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does yoga with the snake. The snake's Fuck, like yeah. give me a hard one. <laughs> Oh shit! What are our goals for 2018? That was the other part of that. Um, I don't know. Uh, get out of debt and to make become a the podcasting libertine superstar. Yeah, uh, get revolutionary. Into new debt and keep doing this show. Uh, fucking cool guy, I guess. I don't know. Try not to make more debt. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm now in debt. I think I'm going to be able to figure something out though, where I'm not. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a problem with the insurance company, so that might be an easily easily uh, achievable goal, but. I also haven't thought about what I want to do for 2018. Yeah, I've never been like a big like sort of like set goals like New Year's resolution kind of person. Yeah. Just because every time I do it, then you have something to be disappointed that you didn't do. Oh yeah, I and didn't. Just, I didn't do anything. And it lets you down because you're like, oh, I didn't do this, this, and this. But then you're like, oh, but I did all this other cool shit. But oh, I didn't do the thing on my list. I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna keep fucking rocking. Holy have, shit! Have fun. What is this? Oh, that's the... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's metal. We're looking right. at the snake. Right, so she's doing the yoga pose. <laughs> this is a really upsetting photograph. All right, let me see. The yoga pose, right? And then the snake. Yeah, okay, fuck all of that. <laughs> yeah, we're basically looking at a lady doing weird circus tricks in a public park while a snake turns into her face. It, like, like protects her. Yeah. <laughs> that's Larissa. She looks like a mini boss in, like, a video game from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to start whipping fucking yeah. cobras at you. She's just, like, waiting for people to th- throw loose hay pennies at her in yeah. the 20s. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think because like two years ago, I was on the road a fuck ton. Yeah, because uh, I, yeah, I went I went on the road. I had a bunch of one nighters, and I had a five week trip and a three week trip, and then also just a shit ton of one nighters and stuff. 
And last year, I didn't really go on the road much. And I think next year, I want to be on the road more. I and mean, that's not really... That's just a thing that's I want to do. Yeah. Well, we've got to be doing that. Yeah. yeah. No, it uh, just kind of fell Fill out like that Google form, guys. Yeah. yeah. Help, help Tom's goals come true. Yeah. You could be the thing that gives me... Uh, was it New Year's solution? Nope. So, <laughs> thank you. Do you guys have goals for Meme Boys? Well, Keith wants to get his teeth from gummy bear back to like a solid <laughs> Pez type consistency. It's not yeah. bleeding from the mouth. Nah, it's not really a mean boy's goal. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's I'm not a brand. It's literally you... our merchandise is me bleeding from the mouth. I want you to stop it is, doing yeah. it too. Uh, I don't know. Um, I like the taste. Uh, <laughs> mean boys' goals, I guess, just to be a, a big cool podcast. I don't yeah, know. I mean, we had Patreon I'm, goals and we've already we've reached both. Yeah. Of them. By the way, yeah. we beat our thousand dollar goal uh, today. Thanks, so guys. Fucking, thank you guys. Again, so much. we make as much as Yay. someone with the GED now every year. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and but I mean, I think we have like we definitely have ideas for expansion. Somebody else asked about something very similar in the Twitter stuff. We have stuff we want to do. We have some plans. We don't want to necessarily tip our hand on all of that yet because we're still figuring out what we can do, mm-hmm. what we need to wait a little bit on. But yeah, uh, we we always want to do video sketches. We yeah. always want to actually film the show, which will probably happen sooner or later. We might uh, make an announcement about that soon. We got we wrote a TV show. It's really funny. We want yeah. to sell that, you know. And I think we have a shot at that. I think that that will go well. Maybe we have. Who knows? But yeah. I, 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 it's great. I like it. So yeah. that's, who gives a fuck? I mostly just want to keep making cool shit. And yeah, we, we want to keep. Uh, cool shit. And look, I just want to. Yeah, I like uh, the coolest thing is people listening to Mean Boys and just fucking tweeting weird shit at Tom that he doesn't remember saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing yeah, this... brings me more joy than Tom being the mildly famous to like twenty five hundred people. It's really, it's really weird because every week someone references something I say on the podcast, and every week I go, I have no fucking clue what they're actually <laughs> talking about. And we didn't in in real time as it was happening. Yeah. So to like go back in time and try to remember what what yeah, weird. Yeah. What did I say about dogs? Like it's it's uh, but it's pretty. It's cool. Like it's like it's a it's a cool feeling. It's just we. It's weird. It's yeah. weird. But you guys are awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it'd be cool to you know pay our rent with a show, which we're already. You guys, you're there. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost there. I have a, I have, a, I have walls, so I think it makes it a little harder. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to finish editing my play this year. Nice. Okay. Good goal. Yeah. Grant There's Baxter a lot of fire in it. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Grant Baxter on Twitter asks, uh, "What was the best and worst Christmas gifts you've ever received?" <laughs> Yeah, that really funny one about mom at the library. Yeah, I I one year, this is like two years ago, where I told my mom I was going to go to the library to get a book, uh, and she goes okay, and then I couldn't. I was like, ah, fuck, I can't because I got a thing. And then I go the next day, the book is checked out. I go, oh man, now I can't get the book. Uh, <laughs> a couple like a week later is Christmas, and I open my gift from my mom. And it is the library book I told her <laughs> I was going to go get, but I had to, like, the receipt was in it because I had to return it, too. So uh, <laughs> it was a Nietzsche book. So she, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever been more appropriate. Was, yeah, you really you learned the was, message before you even opened it. Yeah, yeah, so it was like, like, yeah, so it was a very weird, like, you just gave me a trip. It, all you got me was an extra trip to the library. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she beat me to the library to get me the book. And then I didn't tell me not to go get it. Then I got it. And then when I first... <laughs> yeah, we it's got also it. a Tom, library. Yeah, Tom, yeah. we got it. We yeah. Got it. And then when I, his eyes just went four different directions <laughs> trying to track that sentence. And then when I was... When I first got, I was like, I got it, but you told the getter not to get the god, and then you... Tom, like, I got you. Well, at first like I was like, oh, this is... Listening to a Scooby-Doo cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like, this is do, fucking actually. awesome. You bought me this book. And she's like, oh, I didn't buy it. And then I, like, saw the library <laughs> sticker on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was know, pretty funny. You guys know Shaggy? He, he hangs out with that cat in the murder mobile, uh, fixing <laughs> crimes. I, uh, fuck, did I tell this story about the, uh, the Shrek thing? Was that on the bonus content or was that on the regular I show? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, well, I'll tell it. I, I know I've told oh, it. Oh, yeah, okay. I do know this one, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, your dad oh, did, yeah. your dad know, did yeah. this one. All my, this isn't a Christmas one, but it's the best gift, I, or best worst gift I've ever got. My 16th birthday, I had a party at Buca de Beppo, and I had to, like, Book of the friends, Beppo. You already remember what this yeah. is. And so, like, a bunch of my friends are there, and then my mom, and then my stepdad, who is Scottish's dad, who not a terribly huge fan of me, and him have a, an awkward history. But I'm opening presents and everything, like, makes sense and is fine. And then he hands me a box to unwrap. <laughs> and I unwrap it, and it is a Shrek branded Chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, why did you purchase this for me? I don't know. I thought you liked Shrek. I'm like, it was fine. It, and this was not even like at the height of Shrek mania. We were we were between Shreks. Like this is like this is a Shrek cold beer. This is after Shrek two. This is a Shrek one branded Chia Pet. And then he goes, "Wait, I got you another thing." And I unwrap it, and it's a box of Shrek branded Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. You clearly went to the 99 cent store and they're trying to unload some Shrek merch. <laughs> and I was trying to be like not a dick about it, but I was like, what is this? I remember the worst gift I ever gave someone. Chlamydia. No. Uh, <laughs> not that good. It was uh, so it, when I was in sixth grade, it was my first year actually going to a public school, and we did. Like Secret Santa, and we right. did the one where you give a gift every day of the week, and then the big gift at the end. You did it too, right? A journey. Uh, I've done Secret. Yeah, I don't uh, know. sure. <laughs> and uh, cool. I, I refuse to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had Tom. I don't care. <laughs> it was a real, real tall kid I had is my. The Just guy. Tell the goddamn story. <laughs> Idiot. So many <laughs> fucking details. Yeah, I remember he had pink shoes. Actually, they were his feet. He Actually, was, no, he, did. he was he a was, girl, was and this gay. was in jail. He was very nice. And God. one day, <laughs> all right, so you're Bo my... Fisher. Yeah, Bo. Yeah, <laughs> can we bleep out that last name? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's Bo. And then uh, I forgot one of the days I was supposed to get him a gift. And so I just ran to the garage, and I'm like, oh, fuck. What, 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 Dad, what, <laughs> what can I... What do gay dudes like? <laughs> what can I give him? I don't know, him? a dick and a ladder? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what can I give him? I was like, can I use this? And it was... My dad's a sculptor, and it was just a... It was a I might have told this before. It was a clay foot. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was a clay foot. And I was like, Dad, are you using the clay... <laughs> Or can I use like a slab of clay? He's like, no, I, the, the slab of clay I'm going to use to build shit, but that's already partially used. You can have the clay foot. And so I just put the clay foot into a bag, uh, put some stuff into it, and then I watched everyone open up like, oh, my favorite kind of candy. And, oh, it's a, it's a Game Boy game. And then Bo just picking up a clay foot. <laughs> middle of class and <laughs> staring at it and him just raising his head and going, I have a question about my gift. <laughs> and the teacher's like, oh. He's like, I don't know if the gift is the clay or the gift is the foot. <laughs> and what shit. the most upsetting part is when we, you got three chances to guess who the secret Santa was. and Oh, guess one. <laughs> First guess, he knew it was me. Because I gave him a clay foot. I have never... I also gave him yarn one of the days. <laughs> one year my grandma got it. Like, half the kids in the family, like, these, like, puzzle boxes that had 50 bucks inside. So they're all trying to figure out how to open the boxes, and it's, like, a little trick or something. Uh. You know, and then everyone figures it out and gets their 50 bucks. And me and my cousin Dylan just got these, like, traditional Scottish hats. With our, like... <laughs> <laughs> like our family like tartan on it and we're just like sitting there in our hats watching everyone like fucking play with their cool boxes they can keep their credit cards in and <laughs> put their 50 bucks in their wallet and we're just like oh yeah but we got these hats dude <laughs> and my aunt got me this like windbreaker pullover like fucking rich kid jacket that, that I'm just like I'm never gonna be on a boat I don't need this <laughs> it's why would, I've never worn anything resembling this what, yeah. what you've seen me wear is germs t-shirts and women's clothing and you decided to give me a Winklevoss <laughs> fucking collection Windbreaker thing, so I was just like, I do like. What do you want with me? <laughs> like, what is? It? Someone also gave me a shake weight one year, <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't taken a, a Instagram of this. Why? Yeah. I don't know where it is. I didn't want it. <laughs> okay, so what you just so they offered it? you a shake weight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave it to someone else. Okay. When did, when was this? This was uh, this was I was at Saddleback. When was that? Um. It was probably like your first year of LFA. All right, next question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am Bike Cheese. Asked, Wait, do you have the shake weight? No. Did I give it to you? No. Oh, I thought that's what, what you were what asking. What the hell am I going to do with a shake weight? I don't know what anyone that does with the shake weight. Shakes it. Um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> shake, uh, shake, no, no, shut shake, up. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to do this one. At, Pab Orms bleh, at Pat Ormsby XC asks, which one of you is more disappointed in your sibling? 
Oh, yeah, between you and Tom? Yeah, between these Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really proud of her. No, I know. I meant which of them are more Are you disappointed in Tom? No, I think this is pretty dope. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, he got out. You should tell your face. <laughs> you know? Yeah, fuck yeah. This yeah. is glamorous. You did too, though. I mean, we both did, yeah. all right? Yeah, we're fine. Neither yeah, of you are on one. heroin. Yeah. Just yeah. One. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> You're not a singer. I do. Uh, my mom will be upset that I'm saying this, so I'm kidding. Uh, but I do wish I had like a, a sibling to kind of take the pressure off me. Because like, I, w- I wish there was one normal one, and I could be the wacky one. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm the wacky one, and I'm the only one. So I feel bad like... Ah, what's going on, Connor? That's why I wrote this script about a kid that makes friends with the devil. It's not really the devil, but he does devil shit. You know what you could do is make children, and then you have your parents take care of it, and that would put pressure off. Yeah, you. I, don't, I don't have a clay foot to start with, and I, <laughs> I couldn't get the, the whole child made. And Just it, brainstorm for you. I gotta I'd feed him a little bit of lightsaber piss to com- complete oh, yeah. the golemization process. Yeah. Yeah, or no. you could just steal a child and give it to your parents. No, I'm, I'm not gonna have kids for it. Long time. No, I'm saying make them for the your 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 dad and mom. So you think I should have a kid and then make them raise it? That'll that'll fix our relationship. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth a try. No, it's not. Okay, it's a it's a it's a, a try with sorry a I try li- to help life altering consequences. <laughs> yeah. Does your mom listen to the podcast? She does. Yeah, every week. Oh, cool. Just trying to help Connor, Miss McSpadden. I know. I just... Mrs. Mrs. McSpadden. <laughs> To make sure you weren't trying to get fresh with Connor's mom. Yeah, just whoa. <laughs> in case you thought she was an independent woman. Yeah, yeah. I, I acknowledge that you are owned. <laughs> okay, independent Mrs. McSpad. Yeah. I don't know why I keep looking up. <laughs> yeah, she's not dead. Yeah, she's my mom on the roof. My mom doesn't need no man. She hyphenates her last name. She's cool. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It was like. Yeah, I'm not going to ask what her actual last name is. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a hint. Part of it's McSpadden. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the good questions. Okay. Yeah. Cool, guys. Uh, Sophie, you got anything to plug? Any shows coming up? Any... Don't, don't tell them where to find you. <laughs> what? <Tell them. laughs> if you want like Instagram or Twitter followers or something, give out your handle. No, I don't like people following me on my Instagram. <laughs> All right. Nice. And if you like Scottish, check him out some of those hot meatballs at the Ikea. <laughs> yeah, come down to Ikea. I can give you a florg. <laughs> what is a florg? <laughs> You'll find out if you come to Ikea. <laughs> it's either like a sandwich or a table. <laughs> it's uh, maybe both, maybe neither. Okay. <laughs> maybe something going on under I don't the table. I like your riddles. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was about to say. You're like a real chill troll. <laughs> Just... yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, do we have anything we need to plug? Not really. Uh, yeah. This this is a Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. Uh, then January 2nd, I'll be at the live. Uh, what? Now is not the time. <laughs> Uh, and I love when Tom reaches up in the air trying to catch the <laughs> thought. I'll, I'll be at the live. What is when now? Uh, yeah, the live now is not the time at Hard Live is now is not the uh, time. Yeah, me and every Tom. Wednesday go to Car- Carmen Bar in Laguna Niguel. If you're one of no, no one really lives down there. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead, Keith. Uh, the, this comes out Tuesday. The Thursday this comes out. I'm headlining at the La Jolla Comedy Store. Uh, come out and uh, see me and we can go to Don Carlos before or after because it's literally across the street and we've been talking about it for two years. Let's fucking burrito it up, dudes. Yeah, on the horizon, February 9th, I'm in Muskegee, Oklahoma. If that means anything to you, contact me and I'll figure out how to get you tickets to that. Uh, Throck Martin Theater in Mill Valley, February t- uh, 27th. And uh, Haunted Hotel, fucking return to the me of the place, uh, March 2nd. Uh, the Hotel Luger in Mokemne Hill where we met an oh, author shit. that uh, the, met a couple presidents and Mikhail Gorbachev and shit. And was just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here either, dude. <laughs> I want to go do that Haunted Hotel again. That was a fun show. I'll see if we can figure it out. Uh, yeah, that's it. Fuck everything. God is dead. <laughs> Shoot it in place, 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 sh